First of all, um, I think that the youth is much more, well, it's very implicated and much more conscious of environment. For example, I'm sure you all know of Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg is a 16-year-old 16 uh, 16 woman, and she took time off out of her school and posted herself outside of the Swedish embassy to, to just talk about environment. Just, she was there with her sign saying, we should do something for environment. We should stop uh, polluting, etc. And she was just taking her time off her school to say that at 16 years old. And following that, just three weeks ago, one million students took their Friday off out of school to walk in the streets with their banners saying we should do something, we should act, time is flying and the world is probably dying. And so thanks to this Greta, which is 16 years old, things have happened. And for example, there's also on social media, uh, we see some things are changing. Just like two days ago, I was on Instagram just following the feed and I found a publicity of Ecosia, a publicity which was telling me to plant trees. I mean, I've never seen that before. We usually see publicities of, uh, you know, shampoo, uh, hairdressing, etc. And that was a publicity for planting trees. And I, I thought, that's amazing. I mean, people are actually paying money to push us to plant trees. And so I think this new vision of environments and feeling that we should help the world, etc., is mostly done through education. And because education, is something really important in which the young person finds what he thinks. I remember when I was at school in primary just a few years ago, I would, we would try and find solutions in order to consume less, use less electricity, use less water. We were being given filters to place on our taps so that we would use less water at home. And I'm sure 20 years ago that wasn't be doing, that wasn't be done. People wouldn't even be thinking of their usage of water, of their usage of electricity. So, I believe that this education and this new trend on social media is at the forefront of this kind of revolution of seeing environments in a positive way that I think is positively strong in the youth. And so, today I will give you an example of what I have done and what the youth are doing uh, in order to, um, to, 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 to work for development, etc. So, it's called Model United Nations and it's basically Model United Nations. We're trying to pretend to be the model United, to be the United Nations, sorry. And this might seem like a game of pretending, uh, of trying to be a diplomat, etc. But actually, it's, it's completely the contrary. There were 600 students, it's a conference we organized with our school, 600 students that came from 28 countries here in Geneva to talk about issues, to talk about the world, talk about environment, etc. And I think there are three big positive aspects. It's first of all, it means that these students, they can learn about the world and see what is going on. What are the main issues of the world? Because when one student has to take the role of a diplomat, of a diplomat from another country, they have to research on that country and find a new perspective on the world, something they hadn't known about. So I think that is how education can come forth in this uh, instance. There's also the fact that there are 600 people from 28 countries, just like Voices, where are 3,000 participants, it's a whole new scale. But it's also the scale of, re of finding people from all around the world and realizing that we are all in the same world and all living the same dreams and that we can all work together towards those same dreams. And finally, I think that this platform, this Model United Nations, is also a platform for the youth to speak their ideas. Because we talk about um, class extensions, we talk about racism, we talk about sexism, and those barriers which make some people not as expressive, but I believe in one barrier which I call the youth barrier, which means that the youth people don't really consider the children. I mean, it's completely normal. I don't really want to listen to someone which has less experience than me, which has uh, no idea about what's going on. It's always kind of hard to go across that barrier, but I believe and we always think, you know, they always want things to change. Uh, every year the youth wants things to change. It's normal. It's what they want. And, but that is normal because a society which doesn't change is a society which is doomed. The world is changing. Technology is changing. Technology is evolving. And if we want our society to survive, then we must the society to evolve and to adapt to this new society. I would like to finish with an image 
I like to think of us as fish in a fish tank. If we don't change the water, the world becomes dark. But if we change this water, then everything becomes clearer and we feel alive.